This is a race Arizona State has never won. Leon Marshawn, the 200 breast NCAA champion and the NCAA record holder, will be in the second leg in lane five for the Sun Devils. Watch Seeler up there in lane two. He has the fastest split in history. He was 20 flat last year. Could we see it? 19 in the backstroke. Wouldn't that be something? How about a 19? Let's see it here. He's out quick. 9-7, 9-8, going out. Got a chance. Sealer of the yellow cap in lane two. Cal with the early lead. Such as in 2029. 20.2, that's the fastest time right now. Florida was third at 20.3. Another 20.3 by Stokowski at NC State. It's Liam Bell in the water for Cal in lane two. Savickas in the water in lane three for Florida. Here comes Marshawn in five for Arizona State. He's going to grab the lead for the Sun. 22-2. 22-2. That's the fastest split in history. 22-2 for Marshawn. Now Max McCusker for Arizona State in lane five. Oh, if that's a sign of things to come, watch Crooks now. He's got the fastest in history for Tennessee. And Crooks has Tennessee fifth at the exchange, but they're about seven tenths behind. A little off when he went at SEC's 19-2 for Crooks. He did have the fastest split. No. Costanza had the fastest split. 19-1. Here comes Johnny Kulo for Arizona State in the lead. Driving forward is Leando. And the record. NC State closing for the NCAA mark. David Curtis brings it home in 18-21 for a 120.67 for the Wolfpack. A shocker. It was a shocker. I mean, NC State. What a shocker. They were third last year. You knew they were going to be able to bring it. Curtis 18-2. How about that 19-1 by Kurstanje? And then Hunter at 22-9, 20.3 for Stokowski. Fastest time in history. Patrick, that's 20 point one average? Think about that. Tw they average 20.1 plus. Oh my God. What a swim. And it was North Carolina State, a team that we didn't talk about on the front half, and they blew it out. There are the Heat three results. Look at that number.